Hi, Thomas. How's it? How's it going with you? I'm, I'm, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Hey, congratulations on your new movie, Roleplay, that's uh, coming out on Prime Video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I can't wait for it for everybody to watch it. I know it is. It's a terrific, fun movie. But l let's hear it from you first. Is what initially drew you that you wanted to direct a role play? Um, I received the script, and uh, Katie was attached to it already, uh, which was a, a, a first very good reason to uh, want to be part of it. Um, and what I really liked was that it was very entertaining, very fun, and at the same time, there was something deeper about it. It was a, a very entertaining and, and compelling way to tell a story about modern couples. Uh, because it's it's the story of a suburban mom who uh, moonlights as an assassin. And very soon in the film, her secret life is exposed and she has to run to uh, save her couple, her family, herself altogether. And um, if you take the... Uh, the murder part, the ass assassination part, out, out of the equation. Well, it's the story of a of a of, of a woman of a wife with a with a with a double life, and she has to take care of it, and to uh, sort her issues in order to uh, save her family. Which is, I think, this is why the film is so sweet because it's it's about something everybody can relate to. Uh, it's about it's about a couple. They've been together for seven years. And they love each other dearly, but you know, seven years, and uh, and that's when, well, you need to you need to re reboot your couple, and, uh, and 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 this is a story about that, like you know the, the old remarriage comedies of the '30s, where uh, we're all about that too, uh, but in a very modern way, in a very entertaining way, because there's lots of chases and and and, and guns and fights and everything. Well, of course, you know, only one side of the couple has a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in that case, yes, <laughs> big ones. But we all have, have little secrets, you know, it, it, not always shameful ones. Uh, but we all have like intimacy that we don't, we find difficult to share with the other. Uh, and, and here is just a, a fun version of it. That's a big secret. <laughs> Of course, the fun the fun version of this film, as the title suggests, role play is trying to spice up uh, a relationship. Uh, in in this case, uh, tell tell us about uh, that part of the relationship, and it turns out to be something much far different. Um. So it's this couple. They've been together for seven years, and the daily routine. Uh, is uh, taking its toll on the uh, on their on their lives. They still love each other a lot, and so they decide to um, to 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 role play, meaning like they're going to meet in a bar uh, and pretend they don't know each other and rediscover each other. Like you know, enjoy the uh, the excitement and the slight danger of uh, of of having to seduce each other again. Um, and and not taking the other for granted, which is great. The only problem is that when they turn up in this bar, there is someone who uh, who know who Katie's character is and and recognize her and know who she really is. And he's going to come into the role play, and it's going instead of being a two character role play, it's going to be a three character role play, and then it really becomes nice. <laughs> I I, I love I I like this movie is because. Uh... Can you hear me? You can't hear me? Hello? Yeah, you're back. Okay. Um, I, I like I like this movie is because the fact is uh Kate Haley is unusual as you know the uh, protagonist because she looks so innocent. She doesn't she doesn't seem like like a badass. Could you could you talk about that and because uh because it's it's opposite to David. Who 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 seems like he should have been the badass in this film? Well, it's it, it, it's it's pretty much a reversed couple. We we you know we play uh, uh, David's character is is uh, uh, when I was directing him most of the time. The indication when when I was thinking of a, an indication for his reaction when he was discovering about his wife, etc., was I was thinking of my wife 
uh, how how she would react. Like, and that would and and, and that allowed me to strike the right chord. Uh, and 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 Kaylee, what I think what was fun is that she is doing all this terrible stuff, but she's half retired in a way as an assassin. So she's not, you know, she's she's not John Wick anymore. And uh, and that's what makes it fun because the whole thing about this film was to always track the right balance between the the comedy and the action. Like it it should like if it, if it was if it went too far towards the action, toward choreography and and, and choreograph um, choreographed action scenes and guns and everything. Uh, like suddenly the comedy was not working anymore, and vice versa. And for instance, we probably deleted some of the action scenes because there were there were just too like it was it was pulling the film out of its way, and 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 the quality of the film is to really combine both in a in equal parts all the time. So, how how do you get the you know the basically the training process with Kaylee? Um, since uh, you know she she's not a you know she's not a action type of a actress in a way where like you for example like Alan in the bodyguard that you you have to do because he looks like he's an action hero so how do you prep uh, someone like that for 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 these type of scenes? And I'm not sure Richard Madden is such an you know uh, like he's, he's actors are actors uh, and and eventually. The, the the one thing that really matters is how they put their emotions on screen. But but Kaylee was very willing to uh, um, to 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 do this action part. Like that's what really I think uh, uh, drew her to the to to the part. And and she really trained. I mean, like uh, was we were prepping in Berlin where the film was shot, and uh, and she was still in LA. So uh, she was she she would tell send me some videos every day of her shooting guns and uh, reloading super fast and 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 uh, fighting with, uh, with with stunts and and she was really uh, uh, I think it is one thing she wanted to prove that she could do it uh, because she's known for comedy and. Uh, and 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 also I think she wants to prove that she can do also slightly more serious parts. And I think she's 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 right in doing so because so because she's great. She's she's so talented. And what about for yourself? Uh, you've been doing a lot of uh, you know a action uh, films and television at, as of late. Uh, what, why do you enjoy uh, you know th this type of a coordination of projects? It's not really something I chose. I, I originally I don't come from action at all. I come from indie French cinema, so it's very different. Uh, which doesn't mean that I didn't like it, but but it was not my primary uh, uh, skill. And um, I ended up, you know, it's pretty much the same as for actors. When people see you and notice you in one part or know you for one show or one film, say, "Oh, you can do that." Let's and, and you get much more of those. And so um, uh, I keep getting action scripts, but I do I, I can do it when it's interesting, when it's about something, uh, when it's not just guys punching each other in the face, uh, and and it's about you know it's about a story, it's about good characters. I'm really happy to do it, and and I've learned to do it obviously, but uh, uh, but not not necessarily. I can do uh, films without chases, without guns, without punch you know, like just bad characters and, and love stories and, and comedy, whatever. Uh, what I'm interested in is is performance, perform really primarily. Uh, and what makes my day as a director is when I see an, an amazing performance on, on screen. And that's what we, uh, we had lots, lots, lots of this on, on role play. So that, that was, that made me a happy director. What, what What's the difference between a French production and American production that you, that you experienced? The money. Uh, <laughs> um, not always, but but uh, often. Um, but you know, like, yeah, we could go into the nitty, really details of everything that's different, and there are lots of differences in terms of culture, organization, all that, of course. Um, but in the end, um, 
it's again what I was saying just before. It's about the emotion you get when you watch a performance on the screen. And that's everywhere. And it's like in every culture, in every industry. In the end, it's about action. And is there magic on the screen in front of me or not? And uh, uh, and that's what makes a great movie. Was this uh, film all done uh, on production in Germany or you had to do uh, multi-countries for something like this? Well, the film is set in the US and in Germany, and uh, but we did all of it in Germany. It was all shot in Berlin. And uh, we found a, a house, like an American house uh, in the German suburb uh, and uh, surrounded it with blue screens. And, uh, and and we shot the whole uh, New Jersey scenes there. And same thing for, New, for, for the scenes in New York City. And it was all shot in Germany. Was it challenging to do something like that, trying to make America um, in, in, a, in a foreign country? Yes, it is. It is because what makes you believe in, in a, you know, in, in, in a country on, on screen is a, a million little details. Of course, there are the big things that you, you recognize, but it's also about it's also about the cups people hold. It's also about so many little things. And it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of attention to get the details right. Uh, and, and then also, well, you shoot on blue screen and you hope that the VFX are going to work well in the end, uh, which is always a bit of a bet, you know, like because the, here there, there was a lot. And I was always a bit afraid that in the end it would look a bit fake. And I don't think it does. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, no, that was challenging. Yeah, it's a lot of work in post. I mean, action action films or action sequences are always challenging, but what's the difference between like uh, filming action in front of a blue screen that's challenging as much as filming like in the woods or in close quarters, hallways and such? Well, in front of a blue screen, you control everything, uh, which, uh, which makes it easier. Uh, when you shoot in a real forest, uh, there are lots of challenges that impact security, and makes the log it makes the whole logistics of it uh, much more difficult, and action scenes are very much about logistics. Uh, it's really like raw firepower from production. Like if you have the means, it's gonna be great, and, and unless you really fuck it up, and uh, uh, and 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 uh, uh, shooting on location, this kind of scene takes more uh, more energy, more more production means more money, basically. Most excellent. So, Thomas, what what is up next for you now? Uh, I don't know yet. Like uh, the strikes in Hollywood have been uh, uh, holding everything back, so uh, I don't know which project is going to revive on the U.S. side. In Europe, I'm uh, I'm uh, about to start to prep a, a limited series about the um, uh, the people who clean the internet for us, the people who. Uh, 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 make sure we don't see all these horrible things and have to watch them and delete them and how it impacts their lives, which is a, a it's not a comedy, it's not action. It's a very, it's very different, uh, but it's really, 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 really interesting. Most excellent. And one last thing before, before I leave, do, do you miss uh, the French cinema industry? Would you like to go back? I go back and forth. Um, I'm really happy to work in the American industry. Uh, for a European di director, it's always a bit, you know, lots of direct European directors succeed in Hollywood and lots of others go back because the system is too tough for them. Uh, and since it was my first experience, I was kind of worried which which kind would I be. Uh, and uh, and it, it, it went fine, really. I, I've been working with amazing people. Whether it was on Richer, on on Bodyguard, or on Richer before, I've been blessed with working with with excellent producers and and and, and actors. It's it's just uh, it's just incredibly uh, fulfilling. Most excellent. Well, you you've done a terrific job on a uh, role play. It is fun. Um, you know, we could sense the the relationships of the characters and and a little bit of humor and the a lot plenty of action which is terrific and by the way bill Nye was terrific he, he was right. frightening such was, a star such a star yes absolutely thank you very much thomas for uh, thank, you. thank you thank, thank you bye-bye